Hi, this is Hector Garcia, CPA and Advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor. I want to show you an app called AR Collect. We reviewed this app in QB Power Hour back in March of 2017, and there's been some really nice updates that they added to the app, so I decided to make this video, highlight what the app is, and show some of the updates. When you first log in into AR Collect, you're going to see a list of all of your customers and their outstanding balance separated into a column for aging. Just like an AR accounts receivable aging report, that's actually the first thing you should see here. Now, in QuickBooks, QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online, because it actually works in both, you can actually pull up an AR report, you can print it, you can add notes to your paper, you could create an AR report, export it to Excel and add notes, but that's really, really messy. What this app essentially does is allows you to take some detailed, copious notes about your interactions with your customers that you have outstanding receivables for. And the idea behind it is the more communication you have with your customer, the better information you have at your finger fingertips, it will be much, much easier for you to collect in the future and set the expectation that you are supposed to be paid and on time, especially when you have a system that can remind your customers in such a quick, easy way. So when you first, the first thing you see when you log in in AR Collect, you're going to see a drop down in the top that allows you to choose which customers receivables you want to manage, assuming that you're managing multiple QuickBooks files. We're talking about multiple company files, multiple QuickBooks files. Let's assume that maybe you're a small business, not an accountant like me, and you don't really manage multiple businesses. You just manage your own. Then you don't have to do anything on that top area there. Your focus would be on this AR aging summary report that we see here. Now, if we click on any of these customers, so I can click on any of these customers that have an outstanding balance, I can actually see the details. So I can see the name, their phone number, I can add a contact note, I can add an action note, and I can see the history of all the times that I spoke into the client and maybe possibly all the times that I emailed invoices or payment reminders uh, to the client from this app. Now, you also see a summary on the right hand side of the screen that tells you which agent or which user is the last one that spoke to the client or added notes to the client. You can actually see the last time we emailed them a reminder straight from this, this uh, AR aging summary and also the last note from the last contact. So for example, let's say this customer that owes me $1,400, I can click on that little none button. That means they have not been contacted. Click on that and then I can call the client and then the client said, uh, sorry, we don't have any money, right? And then I'll click on save, and that's it. That was the note, right? The customer said, sorry, I don't have any money. If, if there was an action note, I can add an action note. That was just the last contact that we have. Now, we can take it even a step further where we can take the client, hey, you know, how about just paying us part of the invoice for now, and then maybe we'll We'll settle that stuff later. You can actually click on the dollar amount itself, which will list you every single open invoice. And you can click on where it says edit PTP. PTP is called the promise to pay, which is an action note in which you specifically got verbal commitment from the customer that they were going to pay the whole invoice or a portion of it some point in the future. And that's really, really useful to manage. So for example, the default predefined reason there is called promise to pay, but I can actually edit those predefined reasons and customize them to my business needs. So let's say, for example, my customer said that next week, uh, I'll go ahead and pay you $100. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put next week's date in there, and then I'll put $100 in there. And basically, Basically, what that lets you know is now your AR team, it's obviously committed to collecting the entire invoice amount, but they can focus on what the customer specifically mentioned as what they could afford or what they could pay you for now. Now, I can switch over to the event summary, which is going to give me a history of all the contacts I have with the customer, so all the conversations I have with the customers, what they answered, the notes that were put based on the user, we'll talk about users in a second, and the date, and obviously any action note. But when I click on promise to pay, I'm actually gonna see all of my customers and the invoices in which I annotated that the customer said, yes, I will pay you, I will pay you an X date, and I will pay you X amount. That allows your AR team to focus on those and at least try to collect those because we did get a commitment from the customer. Now, in terms of those promise to pay reasons, here under settings, you can click on predefined reasons. And when you first set up AR Connect, uh, collect, these first six reasons, the first five reasons are going to be there, but I can click on new and create whatever reason I can, you know, like 
you know, waiting for a refund from IRS or whatever, right? So I can click on update and I can basically create uh, an actual reason in which it's common. It will be different for every industry. Every company will probably have a different set of predefined reasons that the customers usually give them as the excuse why they're not paying. But then you can you can set, set up any uh, predefined reasons there in terms of getting a commitment to get uh, a payment in the future. Now, when you click on settings and click on manage users, you can actually add unlimited a uh, number of users or team members within your organization that's going to manage receivables. So if you have different people talking to different customers and adding notes, you want to have some sanity check in terms of okay, who spoke to the customer and when so you can have unlimited number of users. And then here where it says user assignment, I can actually limit what customer each user has. So for example, I got this particular employee that let's say for example, they only manage this for customers. So I can actually click on that and click update and then that particular user will only see when when she logs in, she will only see the open invoices for those four customers and that's her focus. Now I can make her an admin and she can have access to all the customers. That's a different story, but um, I can actually hand select which customers each team member will have access to manage. Now a few other things that are worth mentioning, the dashboard, once you actually have worked with several customers and you have notes and you have cash flow uh, projections with your PTP, you can have a pretty nice single page where you can kind of manage what's going on, notes, uh, future payments, that sort of thing. That's what the dashboard is. I mean, it's, it's just there. You look at it for a few seconds. It doesn't do that much. It's really the event summary and the AR aging summary, the two areas you're going to be there most. Now under email setup, I can actually set up my email templates. For example, I can have a template for customers that are only one to 30 days late. And that could be, let's say a friendly reminder, or I can create maybe a template here, template number five, where maybe I'm a little bit more harsh, uh, threatening to send them to collections, that sort of thing. Or I can have, you know, another template you know, all the way over there that says, hey, by the way, we're going to move you to collections. We're going to go ahead and start a lawsuit to start collections, whatever. So you can actually manage the language on each of those templates and you can choose uh, what template you send to a group of customers based on uh, where they are. So for example, if I go to AR Aging Summary and I'm going to sort it, let's say, by all the customers that owe me the most. And then I'm going to grab, let's say, these two customers that are over 90 days late. I can select both of those and I can actually click on email selected customers after I select which template they get. So you get seven default templates. You, you can change the verbiage however you want and then click on email customers and hit OK. And that will email uh, your customers as long as they have an email address in the system or as long as you're not sending more than one email a day that should be a simple process anyway the way you get to ar collect where well, we can just simply go to arcollect.net and that will take you straight into the ar collect website you can actually click on try it free and you get a free 30-day fully functional trial no credit cards and it's it's great for you to get it started right uh the price as of the day i made this video uh, and, and of course, that's subject to change uh, in the future, um, always. Um, it's $29 a month for QuickBooks Online and $39 a month for QuickBooks Desktop. And the free trial that works for 30 days is fully functional. So you should definitely, I'm encouraging you definitely to at least uh, try it out, start collecting from your customers, and hope the app makes you more productive. Thank you.